Inquisitor, I'm honored by your visit. I'm Finn Cop. Um, Finn Caldenson. Forgive me if I don't stand to greet you properly. You alright? How were you injured? A storm blew up a few months back. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boat. Einar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught me. My leg got crushed against the rocks. It hasn't set properly. I see. You seem, uh... You seem troubled, friend. You seem troubled? Is it your injury? In part. The Gida Myrdotten prepares my father's body for sky burial. I'm sorry. I knew it would be soon. I just... I miss him. I say. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. Yep. Inquisitor, you've need of a hunter, or you're just wandering. Now you lowlanders see many holes, and I'll tell you, there are none finer. You're a hunter, eh? I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? But no one. No one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches. One eye can't see in the dark, and I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Gums piss, do I hunt? All right, I get it. A yes would have been fine. <laughs> Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm looking for a Storvacker. Do you have any idea where Storvacker has gone? Our hold animals are hungry. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd run further. I see. Farewell. Farewell. Yep. Be welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Their way is often hardest. Hello? Is... is there a problem? Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then... there's you. Me? Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering. For Golden. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. Well, I'm afraid that Calden's son is injured. Calden's son is injured? It's not his fault he can't make the offering. As disappointing as that may be, it is not my place to ignore the gods' laws on a whim. I honor them in word and spirit, Inquisitor. But you offered an alternative, right? You suggested a way around tradition by letting me make the offering. The spirits have seen Finn fail. To undo it may be to undo their will. A gift from another does not bear this weight. Holden's soul could travel easily. Alright, so what are the proper rites? I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, right. the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the lady of the skies. The body, sure. unneeded, is gone. Um, what do you mean for most? For most? Some souls, such as Calden's, are chosen to return. The auger reads the signs of birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, right. an offering is made to Korth, the Mountain Father, and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains, allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. I see. I should be off. Lady, keep you. Say it. You're the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. How are you so well informed? Oh, Helsdim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. 
I'm Fulner Hethstotter, keeper of histories and skull to the hold. Oh, uh, is is a skald like a bard? I've never met a skald. Is that anything like a bard? I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. Sure, yeah. They keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. What's a legend mark? I understood all of that except legend mark. The skald before me was born Gulda Elsdotten. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's song. So they're titles, honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. <sighs> He'd never let go of a quarrel. Oh. So, can you, like, choose your own, or...? Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? Only if I wanted to be scalded as a child. I've only been a scald a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill, yet. I see. Very well. Good journeys. See ya. Inquisitor. Hello, Huntmaster. So, about Calden's offering. I spoke to the woman preparing bodies for funeral. She said I might make an offering for Calden. How would... as a gift, sly woman. In that case, I'll accept an offering from the hand that gives it. Tradition says the offering's made to Korth. Only creatures who touch the God's realm will do. I'll mark where some were last spotted. It'd be an unmatched gift, Lowlander. I still pity Colden's son, though. Losing his father's name. What do you mean, his name? What do you mean? Finn failed to complete the rites. That'll see him disowned when the burial's complete. He's fatherless whether you do this or not, Inquisitor. Seeing it done will give him some peace, I imagine. Right. Farewell. Farewell. Yep. Runa should be here. Where did she get to? Hello. Um, is there someone missing? Are you looking for someone? My cousin Runa. She's off north climbing the hills instead of helping with the catch again. Oh, I see. Farewell. Good day to you. Yep. Your family's full of dragon hunters, Seeker? It's something of a legacy. So, when you face a dragon, does it get your heart pumping? Do you breathe a little faster, feel the blood racing? What's the alternative? Relax and let it kill us? <laughs> no, seriously. I feel no great calling in my blood. Sorry to disappoint. Damn. This should be enough for the offering. No one said a gift to the hold had to include everyone. Could be a gift for someone's son. Kind though that may be, it bends the laws of their tradition. It's something to consider. So I hear you saved the last divine from a dragon assault. Uh, yes, in my youth, with help. Nice. You're not going to press for the details. Nah. I can see you don't want to talk about me. Bet you look good doing it, though. <laughs> you made quite the impression at the Winter Palace. <laughs> when I punched the wall, perhaps. Not the most distinguished impression, certainly. But given your discomfort, I expected worse. I did not realize it took so little to exceed your expectations. Come, my dear, there's no need to... You will do far better next time. No, no, no. I cannot oh. have guests, lowlanders, even those who don't hail from the hold. What's going on here? Who are you? And why are you out here? If I tell you, will you leave me be? Maybe. I am Sigrid Goldstotten, Augur's apprentice. I oh. exiled myself from Stonebear Hold. You exiled yourself? I, I did. And my tongue will say no more on that. Oh. 
Huh. All right. In position, soldiers. We can help them. All right, soldiers. Lieutenant Farrow, sir. We've beaten back those Hakonite bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation, Lieutenant? What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold. Or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. Understood. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. Sir. Did you see Scout Grandin on your way back? He should be on watch, but he's gone. Grandin was a good friend of Jace Turbot, one of the researchers. He was killed by Hakonites. I'm starting to worry that Grandin's gone and done something stupid. He was supposed to send word back when he reached his station, but nothing. Keep an eye out for him, please. For me. Uh, sure. By the way, I, I found our soldiers, and they are safe. I helped our soldiers defend against the Hakonite raid. That's a relief. We've lost enough men to them. Hmm. Well, I'll be back. I should go. Be careful out there. See ya. Inquisitor. Baron, Ava, Pierre, La Protezin. I've come to consult with your soldiers on matters pertaining to natural threat. The beasts of these woods are fierce. I fear they've already claimed the life of my dear devoted scribe. Oh. Um. Why are you here, Baron? What are you doing out here? Once, I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little right. of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. Uh -huh. knew what I do of the common Fennec would not sleep. That day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. I see. Well, uh... Do you have a suggestion for me, Baron? Are my soldiers running into problems? They face delays establishing camps due to pests of various nature. Uh, I offer to consider the matter. There is an herb mixture. Correctly placed, it could ward beasts away from their supplies. I would not presume to further involve myself in your organization's military affairs. Perhaps I might entrust this to you. Perhaps. I should go. Inquisitor. Say it. Let's take a look. Inquisitor, are those herb wards? Herb wards? Yeah. Those could assist the soldiers. I take it you've met Baron de Mortizan? And you are... Yeah, huh? Done it, your worship. The master's scribe. De Mortizan said oh. you were dead. I'm merely late, sir. I was not to return until I'd gathered evidence on the Nox Mortar. Um... Who? You're gathering evidence on a... Uh... The Nox Mortar. I was to set out apparatus for gathering information on the beast. Retrieving it proved difficult. Gurgots. If you're out here anyway, your worship, I can inform you that the Baron's pockets are deep. He would no doubt appreciate any efforts made on his behalf. Hmm. What is this creature? What is the Nox Mortar, exactly? A skulking beast the Master believes lies somewhere in the basin. That's not very specific. Hmm. I'm afraid specificity eludes us, sir. Officially, the beast remains undiscovered and unwitnessed. I see. 
So how'd you get this job, if you don't mind me asking? How did you get involved in all this? I've been the master's scribe these past ten years. The Baron has made a study of a number of creatures. I'm assured my assistance is invaluable. Uh-huh. Farewell, sc scribe. I should be going. Very good, sir. Say so, uh, What's this? Details are below. We need to keep our patrols. It will allow us the upper hand. I understand where you're coming from. Word has been sent to Jace's family. I promise you, whoever did this will face justice. Orders for Grandin. Looks like he survived the fight with the Hacker Knights. Won't get far on his own, though. Hmm. These were Hacker Knights. One of our soldiers has been through here. That dagger bears the Inquisition crest. More dead hack on warriors. Could one man accomplish this? The Inquisition soldier. Grandon? Inquisitor, I've abandoned my post, haven't I? I had cause, just missing the permission part. Harding told us about your friend, Jace. He was studying at the university. Those hack on bastards. Jace wasn't a soldier, he wasn't even armed. After this, he was going to show me Val Royo. I've never been. I thought we might. I can't let this happen. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry, Grendon. I wasn't a soldier either, not before this. I lived in the circle. Never had the skill for combat spells, so I picked up a sword. I wanted to fight for the Inquisition. The jaws of Hakan almost ended that, too. I was bleeding out when it saw me. It knows what I know. They will not uh. kill more people. Not like Jason. I will protect them, Inquisitor. Um. Alright, you can leave now, Spirit. It doesn't have to be this way. Release Grandin, Spirit. <laughs> Release? The Spirit remains because I want to. I will really? protect our people. I, I want, want to fight you, Christian. No, I don't think so. You're not walking out of here, demon. If you stop me, then I cannot stop them. I won't allow it. What's wrong with tree houses? Don't you like the idea of tree houses? It's a good idea, in theory. Up where the wild animals can't get us. But having solid ground so far, far below me with nothing but air in between us is just. Hmm. You're afraid of heights. Who would have thought? Scout Harding afraid of heights. Me? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not afraid. Who's afraid? No one's afraid. Mm. I love being up high. Lovely views, fresh air, birds flying at my head. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with heights. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Alright, so, um... I found your scout, Grandin. I've news about Scout Grandin. Maker. Don't tell me. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Sh at at the end of it, yeah, he he's cur currently he's dead. Yes. Yes, he is dead. Another one. 
and gone. Just like that. You never get used to it, do you? Maker. Mm. I'll miss him. The boy was great company. Terrible jokes, but that was a part of his charm. You know? Yeah, sure. I should go. Be careful out there. Say it. Sis. Half chewed label clinging to an apparatus. Remaining text is blurred beneath a cut of drool. Uh, recorded for certain behest of the last in endeavor for the property of this whatever this is. It must be what Demortizan wanted. I'm sure he'll be able to attain information from it. Unless was part of this eaten? That Dunnage yet lives while I was so certain of his passing. The maker smiles on this endeavor. Yeah, so about this Nox Morta. Your scribe Dunnage mentioned something called the Nox Morta. Ah yes, I have yet to lay eyes upon it. Pray do not request details so soon. Not when concrete evidence lies yet unturned. Well, I might have something for you. I've evidence of your Nox Morta, I think. Yes. To observe the mark of the teeth. Let me see. Good and good. But this, a beast unclassified and interested in the bait presented. What lies before us is an opportunity to greet the unknowable. Yet I confess fear, knowing I lack the skill to confront it. Surely Andraste's Herald does not share my limitation. If you would take the bait and confirm its existence, I would be in the Inquisition's debt. All right. Well, wh anything else you could tell me about the Nox Morta? What can you tell me about the Nox Morta? Mere scraps of knowledge gleaned from bloodstained papers. They speak of a creature enamored of shadow lurking in the darkest places. Silence pays it fair, concealing its eyed bulk until a stretched mouth takes its prey. Of course, some of my colleagues deem the beast a mere fancy. Right. I should go. I should go. Inquisitor. See ya. There's a lot of loose stone here. And a Navar axe. Someone left it on purpose. A trail walker. The woman at the beach said her cousin Runa went climbing. Maybe this is where she began. Were you well acquainted with Divine Justinia, Cassandra? I cannot claim to have known her well. If you can, except perhaps Leliana. I envy even your slight acquaintance. By reputation, she was a formidable woman. Justinia was a visionary. The Grand Clerics would never have chosen her had they known her intentions. And now what? they will never find someone to fill her shoes. Oh, they will, darling. Even if they have to trim off her toes and heels to fit. Make it, thank you. Get out of here, Gurgu. I must make an offering to the gods first. Shall I give your names in the prayer? Um. Sure, I guess. I'd be honored to be mentioned in your offering. The spirits will remember. Do as you wish, Inquisitor. I see no wards on this shabby little shrine. Right, right. Maybe leave my name out of it. A prayer. To spirits. Come on, guys. It's just a formality. I'm just being nice. Why you gotta be so rude to me? I'm just trying to be nice to the... You know, to our hosts, right? Lady keeps the skies. Where blows the morning wind. Korth mm -hmm. grants mountain shelter. Hack on blooded hide and bone. Take this gift from Runa Lear's daughter. And the Inquisitor from the lands below. Oh. Oh. I just felt something. What? Blessing. The That's a good sign. 
You bring fine look, Harold. All right, then. Moving on. I agree. Interesting. As if the spirit were gaining a taste for this world. We've been favored. The gods don't always appear. I'll tell Lena this tale. Perhaps a good story will put a smile on her face. All right, then. You know what? On second thought, maybe accepting her offering was not <coughs> the best of ideas. But, on the plus side, I do feel a tad more dexterous now. The Mortisan said to place the bait here. We need to find a good spot. Found it. Alright, now we just, uh... <clears throat> Wait! Did you hear that? No? No, I don't hear anything. Whoa! Oh god, the scariest of creatures. Get it away from me. It can build guard at will. Maximum guard. Whenever it wants to. No. Oh, the humanity. What have I done to deserve such a cruel fate? Take this. You foul beasts. Down you go, Nox Morta. It was a very aggressive bog fisher. Not what I expected. The Mortisans will want to hear about this. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm sure glad to have survived this one. Hello boys. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Certainly hope not, that would be rude. Alright then. It's over, Hackenites. You won't get Storvacker. Not while I'm here to, to say something about it. And do something about it. Alright. You know your way back, don't you? Huh. Alright, well... If you're, if, we, if you're waiting on me, then you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, pal. Yeah, well, I I found it. Is the Noxmorta a bog fisher by any chance? A large, aggressive bog fisher. Bog fisher? That quaint nomenclature inadequately describes its lesser gear. And here is whom they must serve. Why didn't you? I told them to have proof of its existence. Mine shall be enlightened. So when enlightenment comes at the cost of such fearful truths, 
I must wonder at its tone. Permit my humble gratitude to reflect the risk taken, your worship. Where's Dunwich? Let's draft a letter to the university. I should go. I should go. Inquisitor. Say. So, yeah. 